good afternoon. So, I know a lot of you couldn't come because, you know, COVID sucks and all. But I am able to give my speech again since you guys couldn't hear it. So, everybody, the Hoffman Mishpacha, the Rashak Mishpacha, everybody who's part of that who couldn't be here in town. So, let's start. It's good afternoon. Today's parasha of Kisetse begins with our nation of Israel going out to war in a Melchemist Rishus, an optional war for conquering land. When the Jewish people first came to the land of Israel in the days of Yoshua, almost 3,300 years ago, we were commanded to conquer the entire country and take it back from the seven nations living there. But this, we were not to allow any idol worship in the land or any kind of Odazara. Unfortunately, when our ancestors took over the land, they did not fully conquer and kick out all of our enemies. God commanded us to remove them from the land or kill every man, woman, and child. But this is something we cannot bring ourselves to do. Perhaps if we had listened, we would not be where we are today, always trying to prove our claim to the land of Israel to the United Nations. When a man went to war and captured a woman, he had the option of bringing her home. Here's where my parents are beginning to squirm in their seats and get nervous about what I'm going to say next. The soldier had to follow a very specific set of procedures in order to make such a woman his wife. But some of our commentaries say that this actually represents our individual war with our Yetzir Hara, our evil inclination. We are always at war with our evil side and have to fight it on a daily basis. We are tempted and tested, always, when we finally capture the woman. In other words, when we overcome our gates or hara, we must follow a set of procedures in order to stay in control. Now that I've reached the age where I'm responsible for fulfilling the mitzvot, how to put on tefillin, observe the fasts, and take things more seriously, I face a constant battle with my dark side. How could I possibly give a speech without a Star Wars reference? The fact is that the dark side represents the gates or hara, the evil inclination, and the Luke and Yoda represent the gates or atov, the light side. I would not be here today if it were not for my parents, grandparents, great-grandparents, and teachers. I want to thank them all for the hard work and dedication they have shown and how they have worked to teach me and get me to this point. Bye. Love you all.